What's up guys? I'm making grilled chili using my Weber kettle and my Lodge cast iron Dutch oven. It's going to be really good so stay tuned and check it out. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Smith and if this is your first time checking out my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be cooking some grilled chili today using my Weber grill and a large cast iron Dutch oven. Uh, I'll basically be grilling the steak and the peppers and onions to give them an added layer of flavor. And then I'll just do a coarse chop on all that stuff and mix it up and cook it slowly in my Dutch oven. Guys, I'll list all these ingredients in the description below. I've got three uh, little thin sliced sirloin steaks here, and I've already put some of this garlic salt on them. I'm going to hit them with a little bit of black pepper, turn them over and season the other side, and then I'll throw these on the grill and give them a good sear um, along with the pepper and the onions. And then we'll cut all that up and put it in our Dutch oven. We'll give these a quick turn. Just want a good sear on them, just like that. Alright guys, I've got 13 charcoal briquettes on the top and I put 6 under it. Uh, that should get us up to about 325 degrees. I'll check back on this in about an hour. So the chili is in the Dutch oven and it's good to go for about a solid hour probably. Let me know in the comments below guys if you'd like to see more of this large Dutch oven in my videos. Hey guys, it's been close to an hour and I'm going to try to take this lid off carefully without getting ash in my chili. And take a look at it. All right, folks, when I checked on it after it had been cooking for about an hour, it liked just a little bit, so I cooked it for just a little while longer. I'm going to give it a try now. We'll hit this with a little bit of Tabasco for just a little extra heat. And a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese. That is awesome. I did, a, like I said earlier, I did the rough chop on the steak and on the peppers and onions. And that makes it really hearty. Um, the pieces are just coarse and it's uh, it's awesome. But like I said earlier, if you guys like me using the Dutch oven in my videos, let me know in the comments and I'd be glad to make some more videos using that. And um, if this is your first time here again, make sure you subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you put in your chili. But I'll catch you guys on the next one and God bless you.